So how many here has had their social media feeds flooded by Animal Crossing content for the past week or so now? Even before it came out, people were abuzz calling for Nintendo to release the game early. I would have been still first in line, except, you know, six feet away from anyone else trying to get their hands on it. But the question is why? Why is everyone so enthralled with this game and with this franchise? Let me try to explain. Welcome to Therapy for Nerds, psychoeducation through nerdy topics. My name is Cassidy, I am a licensed marriage and family therapist, and let's talk about Animal Crossing. COVID-19 is inescapable at this point. It is all anyone is talking about, and it makes sense. I don't think there is a single person that is not in some way impacted by the virus at this point. I live in Los Angeles. As of recording this video, the city has issued a safer at home warning, something that has confused a lot of people, and we had to have a separate order to close our beaches and parks. It was meant to encourage people to practice social distancing, though I know some people in my field would prefer that we call it physical distancing distancing. In short, is an attempt to slow the process of the virus by limiting people's physical contact with each other so that potential carriers are not spreading the disease to as many people. It feels weird explaining that, because at this point I am willing to bet most people watching this video has already heard this term a million times, even though we really only started learning about it a few weeks ago. It has now become part of our everyday language. But I digress. This video is about Animal Crossing. And why is it so popular? And why am I saying it's the perfect game for these times? For anyone who is not familiar with the game, the game is one of a series of tasks. The more tasks you complete, the more you can customize your experience. The further you get in the games, the more you unlock to reshape the world around you. Then there is a lot of characters you meet along the way. There's a random assortment of villagers that may stop by and decide to call your town or island their home. There's Tom Nook, a business tycoon raccoon, who who encourages you to take out loans to expand your house. There's Mabel, who helps you with customizing your clothing designs. I try to explain the appeal to a friend who typically enjoys shooting games, and I don't feel like I was able to do the game justice. And I'm still not sure if I will be able to do so through this video, but here I am. The game encourages parasocial relationships. Parasocial relationships are relationships that we create with the media that we consume. It is why you cried when your favorite character died. And and if any of you are saying that you never cried during a movie, all I have to say is, really? Who as a kid didn't cry over Mufasa's death scene? When Bambi's mother died? Parasocial relationships are more common than you might think. They extend through how people feel connected to their favorite sports teams, to their favorite YouTube channel. It is a one-sided relationship, because the other side can't return the feelings. No matter how well written the character, or how authentic feeling that channel is, they still don't actually know you. Still, parasocial relationships can be helpful. They cannot replace real-life connections, there's no true substitution for a meaningful social support network, but a parasocial relationship can teach us something about ourselves, whether it's what we're looking for in friendships or the traits we truly value. Your favorite villager says something about you. During a time when we can't go out and meet with our friends, any relationship we have, parasocial or real life, is valuable. Of course, another major draw to the game is the the ability to invite your friends over. Sure, you can't have them visit your home, but your island? Heck yes! You can show off all the work that you've been doing to make your island your own. You can run around, catch bugs together, share each other's resources. I, for one, am going to get some peaches and pears from friends and going to give them apples and cherries in return, because I lucked out and found a cherry island. It's a fun way to interact with friends and kill some time. One thing that people either love or hate is how the game is tied to the real world time. Personally, I enjoy it. It gives me a reason to go on every day, even if it's just to water my plants, though I've been doing a lot more than that every day. Some people have a difficult time with this just in general. Patience is not everyone's strong suit, but with the added stressor of current events, I can see why people would want to move the game along a little bit. So though I am, I guess, an Animal Crossing purist, so to speak, I don't condone the act
distractions of time hacking. It's a game dedicated to personal experiences. You do you. But the bottom line is that the game gives you goals. At the beginning of the game, your goals are very explicit. Find a place to set up your tent, gather materials to build a shop, catch bugs and fish to get a museum. After those are done, players often find their own goals. Goals are great for a person's mental health. Setting and reaching goals leads to feelings of accomplishment, which leads to those good endorphins that therapists are always talking about. Animal Crossing is a game and a franchise that is all about freedom during a time where we feel more restricted than ever. It's funny how even people that are more partial to staying at home are having a hard time with it when we are told that we have to do so. Still, if this can save lives, then I am more than happy to do it. And to help cope, I'm going to use one of my favorite coping skills, playing a video game. So with that, what games are you playing to help cope with this sudden change? What fruit trees did you get on your island? Who's your favorite villager? Let me know in that comment section down below. If you like this video, please let me know so I'll be encouraged to make more stuff like it. You can do so by like, commenting, and subscribing, and all that other YouTube stuff. Bye!